Queen Margrethe of Denmark is joined by Prince Frederick and his wife Marie to usher in the new year. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Queen Margrethe of Denmark was joined by her son, Crown Prince Frederick, and his wife at a lavish New Year's reception today after admitting that stripping her grandchildren of their titles does her a disservice. The Danish Queen, 82, led the glam in a burgundy velvet. Queen Margrethe of Denmark is joined by Prince Frederick and his wife Marie to usher in the new year. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Queen Margrethe of Denmark was joined by her son, Crown Prince Frederick, and his wife at a lavish New Year's reception today after admitting that stripping her grandchildren of their titles does her a disservice. The Danish Queen, 82, led the glam in a burgundy velvet. Queen Margrethe of Denmark is joined by Prince Frederick and his wife Marie to usher in the new year. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Queen Margrethe of Denmark was joined by her son, Crown Prince Frederick, and his wife at a lavish New Year's reception today after admitting that stripping her grandchildren of their titles does her a disservice. The Danish Queen, 82, led the glam in a burgundy velvet. Queen Margrethe of Denmark is joined by Prince Frederick and his wife Marie to usher in the New Year. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Queen Margrethe of Denmark was joined by her son, Crown Prince Frederick, and his wife at a lavish New Year's reception today after admitting that stripping her grandchildren of their titles does her a disservice. The Danish Queen, 82, led the glam in a burgundy velvet. Queen Margrethe of Denmark is joined by Prince Frederick and his wife Marie to usher in the new year. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. Queen Margrethe of Denmark was, instead of being princes and princesses, they are countess and countess and are referred to as excellences, a change that is now reflected on the family's website. Under the royal family and succession to the throne pages on the site, the four members of the royal family who have maintained their positions in the line of succession are mentioned with their new titles. It was a tumultuous autumn for the Danish royal family after the king stripped Joachims for sons of their titles of prince and princess, a move he had spoken out against. But in a televised New Year's address on Saturday, Margaret admitted, the relationship with Prince Joachim and, his wife, Princess Marie has run into difficulties. Difficulties and disagreements can arise in any family, including mine. The whole country witnessed this. She added that she was confident that the family can enter the new year with new confidence, understanding and courage. Days ago, the royal family seemed to be blowing the drama away when they arrived for a magical New Year's dinner at Amalienborg Palace in Copenhagen. Despite the fallout, Prince Joachim was seen making out at the lavish event, as were his brother, Crown Prince Frederick, and his wife, Crown Princess Marie, as well as the Queen's sister, Princess Benedict. Princess Marie, wife of Prince Joachim, stayed in Paris with their sick son. Last year, Prince Joachim spoke out against his mother's decision in the days that followed, claiming his children had been harmed in the process. Months later, the sixth man in line to the throne admitted that communications are missing within the royal family in the run-up to the shock announcement. There's a lot to work on, Joachim told local news outlet BT. Contact was the thing that was missing. Now we've met and we're on the right track. Soon after his children were stripped of his titles, Joachim claimed he was not notified until just five days before the news broke. After the Queen's announcement, Joachim spoke to Danish magazine Extra Bladet outside the Danish embassy in Paris, where he lives with his French-born wife Princess Marie and two youngest children, and said his four children were hurt by their grandmother's decision. I got five days' notice to tell them. In May, she presented me with a plan that was, very much, when every kid turns 25, it will happen. Now I only have five days to tell them. Athena turns 11 in January. Meanwhile, his ex-wife Alexandra, 58, who was married to Joachim for 10 years until 2005, said her two sons, Nikolai and Felix, 
were left feeling ostracized by the institution and that the decision came like a thunderbolt out of the blue. The royal family issued another statement, saying, As the Queen said yesterday, the decision has been a long time coming. We understand there are many feelings at stake at the moment, but we hope the Queen's wish to prove to the royal family will be respected in the future. Last year, Joachim and his family were said to be moving to the United States after he landed a new job in the defense industry in Washington, according to local media report. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.